Come on. Come on, baby. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Dude, I just hit bottom, dude. Rainbow unicorn. We switched jigs up. Oh, man. That is awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have moved out to about 800 foot of water right now. And the guys back in the back back there, they got some deep drop setups. Trying for some tile fish or barrel fish, whatever we can get out in this deeper water. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm using a spotlight. And I'm just going to shine it on this jig right here. All of them stripes you see on that jig, that is what glows. So obviously in 800 foot of water, not much uh, light penetration down there. So you want it to glow as much as possible. It's a 400 gram Johnny Jigs watermelon color here. I've got one single hook on the bottom there, double assist hooks at the top. Still using <clears throat> my blue goofish rod right here. And uh, I'm gonna figure out the drift that we're drifting right now. I'm gonna drop it down and hopefully we can get on some fish, y'all. So we are going down to the depths right now. This is all new to me, y'all. I've never caught a tile fish, any of these deep water species, especially on a jig. This is really a, a one-time thing for me and I hope, hope we can hook up on something here. Can we throw it in reverse for just a second so I can straighten my jig up? Just slightly. Just want to straighten my jig up a little bit. Do you go into the bottom? Yeah. How much line's on there? Should be 900 foot. I ain't gonna have much. If I get a big fish, I'm, I'm screwed. <laughs> well, I don't want it to drift back too far on you there. You're pretty good though, dude, for a thousand feet almost. So Cody's hooked up back there. He thinks anyways, he's got a fish on. He said 100%. 100%. Oh, it was on, bro. Yeah, we, no, this, this, you ain't catching anything else but a golden tile right here. All right. I'm playing on the bottom, it's a tile fish. All I did with this jig is let it hit bottom. We're just slowly jigging it up and down here. As y'all can see, my spool is looking pretty light right now. And all we're fishing on y'all is just some mud bottom out here where there's no depth contours right now. It's just flat mud bottom and about 800 foot of water. Uh-oh. Swigs is getting a little tap over there. A little love. There you go. He's on, baby. No? You got him? What we got? No. -uh. coming a shark and a tile, a blue line. That's a blue line. That tile in here, baby. Blue line tile, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a goldie, baby. Oh, is it? Okay. We're only here for the goldie. That's right. Searching for gold. Come on, baby. I heard that. First, first drop too. First drop. First drop, bro. Nice. You still got a fish on, Sweeps? No, I think I Oh, oh, I got one. Tell me you got one. He's on, baby. We got a towel on the jig. Hold up, hold up. Is he still on? He's on. Hold up. It might be my jig, wait. No, he's on, baby. He's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. Get him, baby. <laughs> <laughs> on the jig, y'all. He ain't big, whatever it is. Hold on, let's see, make sure. I got something in gosh dang. <laughs> Y'all, we got one on the jig, 810 foot of water. That's not a bad person. That's a sandwich right there, baby. <laughs> oh, now we got the the dreaded reel up. This ain't even this ain't a big fish at all. Oh, you ain't even a quarter of the way up yet. No, I'm about an eighth. <laughs> I don't care. This is so much more rewarding if we can get a fish up from this deep water on a manual reel. He's still, yeah, he's on there. It ain't a big one. It's not a shark. I know I'm eating tonight. That's all I know. Y'all, I am pretty wore out. <laughs> I might have him about halfway right, right now. 
We ought to be getting close. I'm seeing familiar line here. Tell me when you get some color. There he is, baby. Yeah, let's go. Look, he just spit out somebody's squid. Come on. He just spit out your squid. That's mine. Look at that, y'all. Oh is my awesome. God. First towel on the slow pitch jig, baby. On the fish. That I don't even care that he's like. 10 inches. Oh, he doesn't matter. Pull that thing up. Bro. Where's your phone at? Perfect hook set right there, too. That's one off the bucket list right there. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> Such a pretty fish, though. You see why they called him golden towel fish. Hey, Swigs, you want your squid back? Yeah, throw that thing back. <laughs> <laughs> There's my sandwich. I wanted to see him anyway. That's my sandwich. Y'all, so we got a double up in the back. I just pulled that tile in. We're dropping back down. I don't know if y'all can see that spool right there. It's getting pretty, pretty thin. Yeah! I got good color. There he is. We the boat. Woo! That's a good one there, buddy. Nice! That's a fat one, son. What you got there, Swigs? All blown up, baby. Look at them big old eyes, man. It's crazy. Gorgeous colors. Look at that. Nice. Oh, oh, I'm on. I'm on, baby. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Dude, I just hit bottom, dude. Rainbow unicorn. We switched jigs up. Oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> He's on. on the jig. Now we got the slow climb back up. Oh, dude, this has got some weight to it, y'all. No. No, that's that's a tile. It's a tile, baby. Absolutely gorgeous day out here, y'all. Perfect temperature. What you think I'm about to fall over? Hey, if I go over. I'm still holding on to the rod. Y'all just snag me. I'll tell Lindsay you loved her. Yeah, snag me. I must have landed this jig right on top of his head. I did one jig and he was on. Come on. Is it the right wood? I don't know. We're getting close. He's still fighting. Still fighting. I got my. up. 830 foot of water. Hey, right now it's doing better than the, the dead bait. There he is. What we got? See color. Oh, he's snagged, ain't he? He's snagged. Still a fish. Woo! Hell yeah! Here, can I eat him? Yeah, he's hooked good. Let me get back here. <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta get back here first. Without falling all over the boat. <sighs> okay, we got him. Yeah, he ain't he ain't as big as I thought. Oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> That'll do it right yeah, there. Buddy. All right, guys, we just got this nice golden tile fish on the 400 gram Johnny Jigs. I call this the Rainbow Unicorn. Not quite sure what the actual name of it is. I'll put it in the uh, description below. Not a giant, but good eating size. And uh, as you can tell, their, uh, their air bladder right there is poking out, eyes poking out, and that's just from coming up from this deep water. Sucker's got some teeth, too. I don't know if y'all can see that. But we're going to throw them in the box. Hopefully get one or two, maybe head on in. We're on. We're on. Nice. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I know, right? Let's make it three in a row. Heck yeah. And y'all, I'm using 30 pound braid on this setup right here. I've got 330 yards of 30 pound die with J braid, eight strand. As you can see, it's colored. That way you can kind of get a feel of uh, the depth that you're at. I think it, the color changes every 10 or 20 foot. So far right now, the jigs is beating the dead, dead squid. Maybe a little more effort bringing them up, but hey, if it works, 
This was actually the fourth hit that I've had on this spot. This was the only one that actually committed or got, got on the hook. Just dead weight coming up. Probably have them foul hooked. But that's the good thing about them assist hooks. If he does pull the hook out of his mouth, there's a good chance one of those assist hooks will catch him in his body and he still manages to get him up. Oh, I see color. I see color. Look at that, baby. What is it? What is it? What is that? Another, f oh no. Shark. You kidding me? On the jig. Son of a gun. It's like wrapped up. Dang. So that's the uh, the green eye, huh? That's the green eye. Oh man, that is uh, disappointing. So that is a green eye. Look at that. He's got like a a spike on his dorsal Dude, fin. Look that. at that. I'm glad I uh, found that out. They got a sharp spine on their dorsal fin right there. But this joker hammered this jig 900 foot of water almost. We're gonna have pretty to throw him back. Too. Yeah, we've had a pretty good day so far. Some good weather. We've got, what, four tiles in the boat right now? Yeah. Four tiles. We've got swigs over here bowed up, hopefully on his first tile fist with a slow pitch jig. How much further you got? Uh, about two thirds? About two thirds up. Good. But you never know what you're gonna get in these depths. We done caught a couple of those uh, green eyed sharks. No good. So. If that's what this is, we're probably going to head on, try and find some shallower water. You already know, you got that blue goo fish <laughs> rod on with that black sigler. You know it. Ah, I see color. What we got? Come on, be a towel. Be a towel. It looks towelish. Be the right one. Woo, baby. Be the right one. Oh, oh, I thought he got. Yeah. Oh, hold up. He snagged. You going to be able to get him? You want to gaff him? Got him. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that. That's a healthy one too. So <laughs> Grab him right that. by the handlebars. Hold that purse for Turn him around for the handlebar. Yeah. Nice! Hold them fingers down. Let them see that jig. 400 gram jig. Yeah, buddy. This is the um, Tokyo. <laughs> Got her done. The jig is definitely beating the dead bait today. 100%. 100%. Look at that, y'all. Obviously a little more work, but it's working it's, it's productive and uh it's i mean how fish, satisfying man. is it to drop a fake bait down 900 feet and pull up one of the best Easy. eating fish in Easy. the world all right y'all so we're back in the kitchen now we've got two fillets here this is off the bigger tile that i caught and this is the smaller one right here one thing that i've noticed since i was cleaning these fish is they do have pin bones all along this center line right here so i'm gonna make a slice on each side of that bloodline right there just to get the, those pin bones out of the way. We're gonna do that. I might cut this one in half and uh, I'll leave that one the way it is. And what better way to try a fish to get the true taste of it than just salt and pepper, just a little bit of uh, Everglades fish and chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut up Then we're gonna season it up. And then I've got the iron skillet with just a half a stick of butter in it and uh, we'll see what it tastes like. All right, so there we go. We've got our little towel fish strips right here. Like I said, we're just gonna throw a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, not too much, but just enough to give it a little, just a little seasoning. That way we can get the true taste of this fish here. We'll go ahead and flip them around, season the other side. I'll just do the other side with fish and chicken, Everglades. There we go, got our fish ready. We'll let the butter heat up and melt. Turn that up a little bit. I'm gonna put this on a medium to high heat, get it real hot. That way when we put the fish on the pan, it'll get that sizzling action. So I wasn't paying attention and uh, I got it a little too hot, more than I wanted, but that's kind of what we want. So it'll be good for right now. We're gonna go ahead and get these fillets and throw them on there. Listen. Oh yeah, perfect. That's what we want to hear. These fillets aren't very thick, so 
We won't have to cook them very long, maybe a minute and a half on each side. Shoot, you could probably eat these just the way they are. There we go. Get a look at that. That's gonna be good right there. As y'all can see, the color's starting to change right there from the bottom to the top. It goes from white to pink. I'm gonna wait till it gets about halfway through the meat and then I'm gonna flip the meat over. About time to flip them. Let's see what it looks like on the opposite side there. Oh yeah. Not too much. Not burnt. It's very good. Wish I could do better at flipping these. A little nugget right there. They looking mighty right. I wish y'all could smell this right here. We're gonna go ahead and stick a fork in them. They're done. All right, y'all. So we got the fish cooked right here. Looks very good. I just patted it off dry with a paper towel. I got my wife right here. She don't eat fish. I think she's gonna like this right here. All right, which one are you picking? This one. Just put the whole thing in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this one right here. Hold up, we gotta do it at the same time. Go ahead. Eat it. I don't want it, it don't even taste like fish, y'all kind of tastes like lobster meat. You ever had lobster? It's got a weird texture to it. There's the inside of it right there. White, it's not flaky, uh, it's different. I don't know how to explain it. It's not bad, but I don't need it. It's what? I said it's not bad, but I don't need it. It's not bad, but she don't want it. Well, I'm gonna eat it. I eat fish every day, all day, all kinds of fish. And uh, this is this is definitely at the top of the list here. I'm not just saying that. So yeah, I think that's the best way I can describe it. If y'all have ever had like lobster meat or some kind of like crab or something, that's pretty much what it tastes like. Very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat a couple more of these pieces. Tanner's gonna come over here and he's gonna try it because he's also never tried it before, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap the video up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see y'all back out in the water next time.